Hey hello everybody, my name is Ken. I want to come back for another video of NHL 22 franchise mode. We're going to continue this series, boys. We are back and right now we're going to start the simulation. Today we're sim we're going to simulate the uh, pretty much almost the entirety of the fifth season, of our fifth regular season. Now, the main difference is uh, two years prior to this, we did pretty well. Uh, we ended up going all the way to the third round but got eliminated there. Last year, for a second year in a row, we did get eliminated in the third round again, but we did won the President's Trophy. And this year, this year we got an even better team because we managed to get our hands, as I always uh, already uh, went into the roster moves, did everything, boys. I'm going to show you the lines. We already acquired Liney, Kuznetsov, Marner, Rentanen, and we acquired as well Chitrin. So that is a lot of acquirements. Plus a couple of prospects that are ready to play. They, they're playing right now for the first time as well in our team. And our team is just going to be unstoppable. It should be unstoppable. It's one hell of a team. So obviously the first line is going to be Line, Mikkinen, and Pasternak. We've got Keller, Kuznetsov, and Marner on the second line. Genzel, Middlestadt, and Rentinen on the third line. Uh, Johnson, Larkin, and Olsen on the fourth line, boys. That is crazy. Defensive pair, Darlene and Chetrin. Pow Owen Power with Parnes, my two big-time prospects. Because I've actually got three uh, prospects, but Parnes and uh, Power are my two biggest ones. After that's my low elite, Lazarev, which is making his debut today, uh, this year. And uh, he's playing with another prospect, Appleby. The two, the four of them are big time prospects, boys. Uh, all of them are actually prospects. They're all uh, pretty young players, to be honest. And we've got goaltender situation. Campbell actually dropped by one overall ever since I signed him. But that's okay. He's still an 88 overall compared to an 85. So he's definitely, he grew. So that's good. Looking in the Nagrodo. Seems like he's not growing that much. He might not grow at all any further than... He might actually become an 85. I'm not too sure, but... Uh, so, Campbell is still uh, an, 80, he's an 88 now. For the minors, we've got Perlini, Johnson, and Nado. Uh, Kisakov, which we need to keep an eye on. Uh, he, he is going to start growing. I think next year he might be ready to play in our team. Uh, for our team, so I'm not too sure if I'm gonna play him or not. Well, it depends on uh, on whether he's good, is really that good or not. He is a scorer after all. He's playing with Aiden and Inistrosa Bloom with Eakin Volkov, Abert, which is not um, our medium elite prospect boys playing on the fourth line uh, with Ninima and uh, Kashin. So two prospects playing with Kashin on the fourth line. Ao, uh, Laksonen. Capio Banco and Wallman and Clifton and Jolson. And for the goalies, well, we got uh, Subban and uh, Ranta, boys. So we got a really good team. Let's hope it works out exactly how I want it to work out. And that we're going to have a really good time. Let's just hope that everything works out perfectly fine for us, boys. A lot of players want their hands on Mullen for some reason. I am not going to get rid of him. All right, let's just simulate the regular season, boys. All right, preseason is completed. Let's see what our record was in the preseason. So that's two losses right here. Well, 1-1 uh, one, one, one basically because it's a loss in overtime. Three wins. So 3-1-1 one, one, and two other wins. So 5-1-1 one, and one for the record, uh, for the uh, preseason record, which uh, is boding pretty well for us in uh, the season. So we're going to go ahead and... I kind of want to go and hop on in directly. So I want to get a, a, a heads up as to what it's going to look like for us in a potential playoff series uh, for the real-time selection. So we're going to hop on in. And we're also going to hop on into the main, uh, to an actual in the game itself, just to look at our new players, our new uh, players that are on the team. Also, I do want to make sure that uh, this, not the strategies, but the, the jerseys are the right ones. So Darlene's still our captain, of course. Pasternak and Mekinen still our assist, uh, assistant uh, men. Uh, sure. Yeah, that uh, makes sense. Yeah, why not? We're going to keep it like that. All right, so we're going to hop on in for the first game of the season against the Florida Panthers, boys. 
we are actually gonna up on it so we're gonna simulate like this we're gonna see this is like uh if as if we were in the playoffs right here so let's see how we're gonna be uh faring for the fir first game right here Who's going to score the first shot? Uh, who's going to get the first goal? It's going to be Eggblad, boys. Unfortunately, against us. So the first period not going really well for us. Hopefully we can do better. Doesn't bode well, though. Oh, there we go. Power play goal for Rentonen. Uh, followed straight away by Allison. A goal by Allison on the fourth line. Johnson. There it is. A goal by him as well. Another fourth liner, boys. So the fourth line scoring two goals for us back to back. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see, boys. As we are about to end the second period. So yeah, we answered back up. Uh, we my uh, Campbell is really playing out of his mind. Power play goal for Johnson. So Johnson getting two goals on his hand right here. All right, and Larkin getting a solid goal as well. There we go. And Denisinko is going to score a goal for them. Penalty kill once again, and we're gonna stop it right here boys, and we're gonna enter the game for the last five minutes remaining So let's do this. So I'm having some sound But most of the sound for me is all of my controllers. So that's why you guys are not really gonna hear anything uh, Too much, but let's go uh, guys. We got Marner. It's gonna shoot it. Oh my I almost went out right away into the goal Spends the night uh, having a an off night. That's for sure. As uh, we're gonna get, yeah, we're gonna get, uh, uh, keep our second line in there. So it's the Marner line, obviously. Uh, and we're gonna get rid of the uh, defensive pressure. We're gonna put it at normal. All right, win the puck, buddy. Eggblad's gonna drive it in. It's a nice little uh, way of, uh, of seeing how our team is gonna play uh, during a playoff uh, performance, right? How is it uh, gonna for Obviously, we're facing off against a, uh, not too good of a team, the, pen uh, the Panthers, that is. As, uh, we're gonna shoot it and Brubowski's gonna start it. Wait, they pulled off Spencer Knight somehow? Okay, I don't know why they did that. There was literally three minutes le left uh, uh, That's kind of uh, I, I don't know. Maybe you had to go to the bathroom or something boys. That's kind of weird Anyway, that's the good old EA glitch that I never fixed I guess so Barkov is gonna pass it to Vigorby and um, it's gonna be a complete miss. All right, Chitron, get the puck up to Darlene, up to Line. Mekinen now getting the puck right here. He's gonna shoot it, completely missing the net. Okay, all right, he can't get it back though. He couldn't get the puck back as well. That's not too good. All right, Line is gonna drive in. All right, let me get my uh, third line in there. I want to see a little bit of my turn line uh, pairing here. We need to change the the defensive pair as well. Get the uh, second pair in there. I mean, we saw Marner's line, and we saw uh, the first line as well. Now it's time for Rentonen's line with Genzel and Middlestad, boys. Let's see how they play for us. Middlestad had a really decent season for us uh, last year, so let's see how he's going to produce with these studs, uh, these two studs on, on his uh, wing positions. Okay, so they lose the puck right away. Uh, Linda lundell has got the puck. Can you, like, drive in front of him or, like, there we go. Just block him uh, completely. Middle stat's gonna get it. It's gonna shoot it. Kind of a really weak shot, to be honest. All right, Pine's gonna get it, but it doesn't matter. That's the end of the game. So a uh, pretty, uh, pretty cool game. We almost uh, got ourselves another goal in this, uh, in the actual real-time gameplay, but uh, it ended up not going in at the last second. So yeah, pretty. I'm ha I'm happy so far. Uh, super uh, is doing pretty well so far. So. Um, I'm just uh, looking forward to having a really nice season overall as you can see just for the first game alone 9.44 saving percentage for Kembo. I feel like he's gonna be uh, Be a great addition for us like um, the fact that he grew even further and stuff. All right, we're back in the menu boys Let's start uh, doing the actual simulation the normal one uh, this time around we're back against the Florida Panthers for the second game uh, Can we win against them? Hope we can there we go 43 win up against the Jets Which are the defending Stanley Cup champions right now. We ended up losing against them So we can still lose Even with the team we have we still can lose some couple of games the Seattle Krakens already lost their coach their head coach already got fired That's an interesting way of uh, starting the season right there as Owen Power is going to get injured. 
not uh not good boys we're gonna have to put bryson already in there so already we got ourselves an injury who do i want to put in there i'm gonna put lazarev in there because a better potential than apple buy so yeah well, i guess we're gonna put apple uh, lazarev in there he's gonna play with pirons and apple buy you're gonna play on your uh, natural position which is left d all right here we go so uh, we uh, end up winning after that last against the um the Jets, we end up having three wins in a row, as you can see right there. And so we're, we're having a really good time. Lara, Lazarus is fully healed. I don't know why they're telling me that. That must have been like a day-to-day a, a -day injury or something. Uh, there is a win. There we go. There's a win against the Winnipeg Jets. Somehow I'm, um, I'm hoping that we're just going to get lots of wins like these. Like, look at that. Big time winning streak. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm looking forward to. That's what I know I'm, we're going to get because we have such a good team. And uh, there's a, one of the rare, rare losses. So there's a second loss against the Vancouver Canucks. Which the Canucks, where are they at? The Canucks are uh, first. Okay, so they're pretty good. They're first in their division. Uh, right, and we're uh, equal to them. So it makes sense that we lost to them. So yeah, we're doing good so far. We're in the President's Trophy uh, run, obviously, early on. But it's only 10 games. Uh, our best player is Pasternak, 17 points. Uh, he's doing fantastic, of course. I mean, playing with Patrick Laine and uh, Mekinen is going to do that for you. And um, obviously, he's a stud himself. If we take a look at our team stats, just to make sure everything's right. We are the most, uh, the best goal-scoring team, offensive team, of course. We are the second best defensive team. Uh, power play, we're absolutely the best power play. In a penalty kill, uh, we could be doing better. We could definitely be doing better uh, in terms of the penalty kill. But we are winning games, which uh, tells me that uh, I don't need to worry about anything. If we just take a look at the first uh, 10 games, though, I want to see for my main uh, players, my new guy especially, Lazarev's got himself one assist. He is a defensive defenseman, just like Pyron. So it's two defensive defensemen playing together right now. I got lots of those. Yeah, I've got a bunch of them. This is why we got uh, defense that is uh, pretty good. All right. So, yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good, boys. I, we're just going to keep simulating. Don't have anything else to say, really. Uh, we had a pretty, really good simulation for the first 10 games, which is to be expected with the brand new um, additions to our team. So, there we go. So, we just keep winning. And now, Orion Power is finally back. What did uh, Bryson do for us? Two points uh, plus seven in the uh, seven games that he played. He, said he played seven games. So that's a lot of games. Uh, that's seven uh, games in minus uh, for the season, for uh, a power season right here. So that's kind of unfortunate a little bit. Hopefully he's not going to miss too many more games because uh, that's, um, that's a lot. Seven games that you miss in a, in a season. So... Uh, as we keep winning, obviously we keep winning right here. We're on a big time winning streak, actually. I think, uh, as we yeah, another win against Pittsburgh right here. Yeah, we are big time. Like this is a big time winning streak going on. I like to see that McKinnon is doing fantastic. I mean, thirty three points right now. Look at that. This guy is on a in a roll right now. Oh my God, we keep winning. Oh, there's a last. Okay, there's a last right there. How many wins in a row was that? That was uh, two, four, six, and eight. So eight wins in a row that was before losing to the St. Saint Louis Blues right here. We're going to simulate the last game right here, the 20th game. Let's see really quick. And that's going to be an easy W, 5 nothing against the Calgary Flames. And we got after the last record was 9-1. and one, So even better than the previous one. And uh, we got a, a record so far after 20 games played, 17-3. and three. Our best player, Mekinen, 35 points in 20 games played. We are absolutely dominating the league. Obviously, no surprises there. Uh, I kind of wanted, uh, I think I want to see something right here. I, wa I wanted to see something, which is, uh, which was uh, our production for the players. Uh, first off, goaltenders. Yeah, Campbell is doing great. He is absolutely great. Not so much for Lukanen. Lukanen is kind of a disappointment. Uh, on the de on the um, backups uh, uh, side of things, but I, I guess if we're doing fine with the, uh, the rest of our team, we should be okay. Darlene still doing great. 
uh, Chitrin. So they're basically equaling themselves out in terms of point production. We've got Power, which is doing all right. Uh, five points. Uh, yeah, Power is not going to have as many points. Hopefully, he's going to have a better season. It seems like he's on a right, uh, the uh, right um, side of the road in order to... Uh, to go that direction right now. So it seems like he's going to be having a better season than the previous ones. Three points for Parnes. Which how many did he get last year? 11. So hopefully he can get more. And two points so far in 20 games play for Lazarev. Apple by He's got one point only. So hopefully they can all get better over time. Uh, these guys are all doing pretty good. I mean... We're talking about Rantanen. Rantanen's got 14 goals. I think he's our best scorer actually. He is. He is our best scorer, and he's playing on the third line. So, just imagine that, boys. Rentonen is actually our best play, uh, our best scorer, our best player is Mekinen. But oh, uh, these guys are really doing good. My team is dominating right now. Uh, one more thing I wanted to look at is I forgot to look at because we knew Crosby was in the uh, the free agency, right? We never looked at it. We don't know where Crosby is. We actually don't know that. So. Kind of want to look at the lineups really with quite a, a, a different teams just to see uh, who got Crosby. I found it, boys. Crosby, Crosby ended up in Colorado. So he's in Colorado. So he's playing above of New Hook. All right, fine, I guess. New, York, New Hook used to be uh, an elite playmaker, if I'm not mistaken, though. I guess he's not anymore. Uh, so uh, Crosby is playing on the first line. They're playing him out there. He's producing, I mean, with Landis guy and everything. So, all right, good for him, I guess. He's still doing great, that 84 year, uh, 84 Royal. This is why I was tempted to get him, boys. Because I know he's going to play well no matter what. But, I mean, when you have uh, the option to get uh, Kuznetsov as well, I mean, you got to get the, uh, you gotta get him, obviously. You have to. So, uh, Genzel got injured. So, our sec uh, third uh, left winger is injured we're gonna have to replace him with uh barry boulet is going to be is uh the first time he's going to play be playing this year and uh yeah so what do we uh he, he's obviously going to be playing on the four, fourth line johnson's moving up to the first uh third all right there we go let's keep simulating boys as uh we keep uh winning games right here so we're uh, going on another winning streak right here up against the vegas golden knights as soon as i say that we lose in regulation against them for nothing but a win against the Rangers enough. Remember, the Rangers is are the ones that uh, we uh, got the first round pick from. So we are obviously hoping the Rangers are going to be doing bad, but I don't think it's going to be the case. Since we did give them a bunch of veterans, right? We gave them a lot of veterans, uh, veteran players that we have had. So maybe they are doing. They're going to be do, doing good because they got a lot of uh, a depth, in depth team now. We did end up having two lot regulation losses in a row right here. Uh, a f uh, an, it's followed by a shootout loss. So now we're having a pretty bad simulation all of a sudden. And it's all due to the tr the maybe the the lineups, the way they are figuring uh, uh, figured out, right? There's a, another overtime loss. So our last record, 5-3-2. Three, uh, three and two. By far our, uh, our first... Uh, by far our, our worst simulation so far. We're still on top of the league, I believe. Yeah, 46 points. So we're still on top. As the Rangers are on top as well, they might... Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to get lucky with that first round pick. But yeah, I think that injury hurted us big time. Not having Genzel in there. It's hurting us, uh, boys. Paribule. Not doing too good. I think uh, it's not doing too good. I mean... The rest of us, uh, the rest of the team is doing fine, I think. Yeah, the rest of the team is doing fine. So, I don't know. Maybe there's something going on. Uh, something that I'm missing. Not too sure, boys. Uh, but looking and still to play a little bit more. Maybe it's due to him a little bit as well. But, uh, I mean, I'm not going to be worried too much. We definitely, this is definitely due to an injury that we've got. Uh, Gensel is, I guess this his injury is hurting us a lot. We're still the best offensive team. Uh, the best defensive team now. We're even playing even better defense. Best power play by far. And uh, penalty kill. It still could be better. It's, it could still be better, boys. 
Let me see, see if I can change it up really quick because the penalty kill could be better, that's for sure. So not diamond, instead of diamond, let's try it at large box. Let's see if that's gonna work out for us and let's keep simulating really quick. That's a four nothing uh, win for us, good, against the Montreal Canadiens. Up against Crosby is uh, uh, Crosby's new team and uh, we win. The, uh, the Rangers, there we go. We, de we definitely want to hurt the Rangers as much as possible. So keep winning against them. And Genzel is back. Good. So Barry Boulet did in 11 uh, games, uh, scored only one goal. So <laughs> didn't do too much in the fourth line. Did not really do too much. But now our lineups are back to uh, the way they were supposed to be. The way they were originally. So uh, let's see if that's going to help us so far. It looks like it is because we are winning games once again. And the uh, New Jersey Devils, we end up winning against that. The P uh, Florida Panthers are going to break our winning streak, unfortunately. We're bringing it back off against the Arizona Coyotes, though. So there's a win. And uh, two more uh, simulation uh, games of simulation, boys. There we go. Our win against Edmonton. And finally, the Vegas Golden Knights. Can we win against them? They're a pretty good team. Yes, we can. So there we go. We bounced back off with a 9-1 uh, uh, record for the last 10 games. So told you, boys, it was all about the Genzel injury. Just Genzel getting injured and maybe me upgrading as well the uh, penalty kill. And uh, everything's doing fine. We're back on track for the President's Trophy run, which were at 74 points. Well above everybody else. Well above everybody else. What about the Rangers? They're still on top. They're on the weakest division, so uh, they sh they're, they're going to be doing fine, uh, unfortunately. So 40 games plus played. I think they are. I'm not too sure. I don't know if they moved up. It was at 84 before, so maybe it went up by 0.5% or something. I'm not too sure, actually. I'm not too sure. Hopefully, it is the case. Uh, since we are at half the season done, I do want to see the points really quick, so... What are we looking at? Uh, Patrick Linus got 50 points. Actually, we don't need to go in there in terms of uh, in terms of uh, point wise. I could always just uh, go into the individual stats. That screen instead is going to be better. Yeah. So we've got Mekinen with the best as the best player and the best scorer as well. 25 goals and 62 points. There we go. That's pretty good. And uh, we got Pasternak and Liney in the 50 plus points. That's fantastic. Uh, Kuznetsov not doing as good as I thought he would be. I'm, I'm telling you, it's playing with Ovechkin. Ovechkin and Kuznetsov are playing great together. Separate uh, separate the two of them. Ovechkin's clearly better. And Kuznetsov, I think he's not as good as uh, he's supposed to be. So he's definitely a good player. Don't get me wrong. But without Ovechkin, he's not that stud of a player. Now, obviously, he's playing on the second line. So it doesn't help him much. But... Rentonen, okay, he's doing good. And Marner as well. And uh, everybody else is doing fine. Darlene is at 27 points right now. Um, I think he's on par for the 50 plus, so he should be all right. As long as he does 50 plus points, I'm, I'm going to be fine with that. Uh, Genzel did, uh, did um, miss out on a bunch of games. Uh, so did Power, uh, 33 point, uh, games so far. And 10, uh, 10 points, so... Yeah, pretty good, pretty decent. Um, Parnes got six points. Apple Buy is doing all right. Nazarev five points in forty games played. Could be better. It could be good. Uh, it could be worse. He's playing on a third pair, obviously as well. So, uh, and Campbell's having a good season. Campbell's really having a good season. Lukunen is uh, starting to bounce back up. He's starting to play a little bit better as well. And uh, Campbell did get to the 200 uh, win mark. So he did get to the 200 wins, boys. Congrats to Campbell. There we go. If we take a look at the entire league, though, for the uh, the uh, all skaters, real quick, I do want to see uh, where is Ovechkin. He's not in the top. He might be in the top eventually, though. I'm guessing, right? He's at 85 overall now. So he's, his stats are dro starting to drop, it looks like. He might not get, uh, he's not going to get an 80 goal score uh, season, I'm pretty sure, this time around. But he did do it, though. He did complete it at 40 years of age. He finally did it. 
he's uh he uh, surpassed the thousand goal mark so thousand goals plus in his career for Ovechkin what a score boys what a stud I'm telling you man Ovechkin is such a stud as we're going to continue to simulate really quick yeah Ovechkin is a stud this is this is by far the best goal scorer of all time for me this guy a thousand goals that's crazy, man. The first to ever do it. The first go uh, player to ever do it in our universe, at least. So uh, that's uh, really crazy. As we're going to get a, a shootout loss against the, the Dallas Stars. A rare a rare loss for us. We're not, we don't lose often. There was a goal. There was a win uh, right back afterwards against the Ottawa Senators. A regulation loss against the New Jersey Devils. So as soon as I say, I start talking about the fact that we don't lose... Uh, we start losing, so. And uh, Genzel is injured again, so that might be some bad news because last time he got injured, we started to lose a little bit more often. Hopefully, that's not going to happen again as we get a win against the uh, Philadelphia Flyers. Our first uh, game, there we go, first game uh, uh, where Genzel is not there. And it seems like we did good, right? For the first two games, we were doing all, all right. And we end up losing this one against the uh, the Los Angeles Kings. Okay. Well, it's a, it is a record of 7-2-1. So we're losing a little bit more go games when Kenzel's not there. But we're still doing great. So it's not much of a difference. And uh, we are still dominating. Yeah, dominating big time. 79 points in the league. Our biggest competition is the Blackhawks. But there are 70 points, boys. So they're very, uh, uh, we are very far ahead of them. And the Rangers are kind of starting to drop off. I really wish they do not make the playoffs. I want to have the best uh, possible first round pick uh, out of them. So hopefully they don't make it to the playoffs. Uh, we're just going to... Uh, I want to actually see though uh, for the uh, penalty kill if I need to upgrade it or not, boys. It's the one thing that needs to... Uh, that we need to see. So it's actually... It's dropping off, actually, a little bit. Even our power play, though, is dropping off. And uh, are we going to win against the uh, the Red Wings? Yes, we will. Easy win right there. The Toronto Maple Leafs are not a, a tough team, but we end up winning against them anyways. Uh, a loss against the uh, Minnesota Wild and a win against the Vancouver Canucks. So... I'm happy with uh, what I'm getting right now. I mean, it's exactly the type of season I was expecting, uh, especially with the roster I got uh, this year. I was expecting exactly that to happen. Even maybe a little bit more wins, but, uh, you know, um, we're doing a great. We're absolutely doing a great. And, uh, yeah, this is a really great simulation that we're getting right here. And we're up to 60 games played. So now we're going to coming to the dra trade deadline, boys. Uh, 87 points, 40 goals for Mekinen, which is our best player. We are now 97 points. We basically made the playoffs already. That's pretty mu that much is for sure. We pretty much got a President's Trophy in hand for the second time in a row, boys. That's guaranteed for us, I'm pretty sure. If you take a look, I mean, the worst team, the worst division is by far the Pacific Division. The best team of the division is 69 points, the Oilers. That's a big yikes, boys. That means that division is absolutely atrocious. And the uh, our biggest competition is still the Blackhawks and the Blue Jackets. But they're really far behind us. So, yeah. I I don't know. The Rangers, they're doing too good for our my liking. But uh, there's not a whole lot we're going to be able to do. I just want to take a look really quick. Uh, team stats. How is it going for us? We are still the best goal scoring team. And still the best defensive team. Power play wise, we're still the best power play and even went up again towards the 29%. Penalty, power, penalty kill is actually going down. So yeah, we need to trend it back up with Diamond. I think is the best choice for us, I feel like. So I feel like Diamond would be the best choice. Uh, our players uh, is are, are doing really good. If we take a look just at the stats really quick after 60 games played, boys. 87 points obviously for Mekinen. Uh, which brings him up to the thousand point mark. There we go. So he passed the thousand points, boys. This is officially a legend for me. So thousand points for uh, Mackinnon, and also he's not that far behind for the fifty goals. He could get the uh, not the fifty goals, the five hundred goals. He could get to that marker, boys. No, uh, no, without any problem. 
And Ovechkin, as you can see, is already starting to bounce back up. He's already the top to uh, the second best scorer after uh, Eichel. They're basically on par. He's just got more, less points. So 41 goals for Ovechkin. I'm keeping an eye on this guy, man. He's This guy's a stud and he, I want to see how many point, uh, goals he can get. I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure he's on par for an obviously he's gonna get another 50 goal season can he get another 60 goal season though i don't know that's the main uh, main in, uh, question we're gonna have uh, to get answered so we're gonna stop it for today boys uh, next video we're gonna uh, we're gonna see if there's any more trades we can do i don't think there is i don't think there's any trades we want to do our team's fantastic as it is but uh maybe there's something we can find so remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video keep it easy boys